I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why sir, don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm going to do you that hit me. Okay? Sir, okay now you I'm take my me. picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. They're criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you doing Ma'am, stand right here. Oh, man. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Southern California where we find a frauditor who just doesn't listen so well and consequently takes a ride with the popo. Well, I tell you what's interesting about this video is that it was posted eight months ago and then the frauditor took the video down and he edited a few parts out and reposted it. This seems to be a trend among frauditors, but at least this frauditor tried to change it around a little bit. A lot of frauditors just re-upload the same video with no changes. Well, I didn't even notice this video until I saw it on a couple other channels, and I said, wait a minute, that's the same video he uploaded eight months ago. But he has everybody fooled, I guess. Well, that's okay. It's good to watch these things a second time around. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. We are back. Now, good people, did you see how fast he looked at that sign? He didn't, any, he didn't want anybody to see it. It says, items not allowed in courthouse. And then he was kind enough to zoom in where it says cameras. So we know good and well, you're not supposed to have a camera in there, boy. But you want to take one in anyway. You want to push the envelope. Now, in the beginning of the video, he said, I have to get arrested today, then I will. Well, you will, sonny boy, not to worry. Yes, sir. What's up, jackass? I'm back. Outside. Nope. Outside. Nope. You got to take me to jail. Get outside. Yeah. Relax. Hey, man. We're going to explain to you. I have the law right here, man. We're going to explain to you, okay? I have the law right here. Okay. It says camera's not inside the courtroom. It, has, it doesn't say anything about the entrance of the lobby or anything. It is. We just read you that statue. No, that statue, this judge here, no. he included that himself. No. This is the law right here. Shh, relax, relax. Do you have that for me? You know what I'm going to do, good people? I'm going to take a poll on my community tab and ask people, if you could, would you want to record inside a courtroom? And I bet overwhelmingly people will say no. Or would you uh, care to record at the DMV or any place else that these frauditors go? 
I don't know why they do this. I really don't. Yeah. Well, we all know why they do it. Because they're broke and it's the only way they can make any money. Should be in the hard plastic. Bro, I can't believe you guys are violating our First Amendment right, man. 148 subjects in G, Baynac violation. You have to take me to jail, man. I can't believe you guys don't know about the First Amendment. Go ahead and violate my rights. I'll, I'll, I'll sue you guys. Okay, sir. Then you can do that, but you're going to have to No, I'm not leaving. You're going to have to, okay? No, sir. I have the law for you right there. Okay, let's come out here. I'm not going you. outside, no. No, sir. Listen, you're gonna have to, what are you, what are you trying to accomplish right here? What we're, do you mean? I'm exercising our First Amendment you. rights. We explained to you, we showed you. I don't care what you guys say, the law's right here. Are you trying to get a reaction from us? Or a reaction? We talked to you, we had a conversation. Do you, you said I don't you wanna go to jail, I don't wanna sue you, you guys. That. I just wanna peacefully go through security and just record and I'll be on oh. my way. I often wonder what happened to frauditors in their lifetime to make them the way they are now. Well, I guess they just didn't learn anything when they were small. They went to school, but they didn't really care about school. And then when they graduated or maybe they dropped out, they just wandered through life and they were drifters. And now all of a sudden they found this way to make money and they're all excited about it. Is that what it is? You guys are making a big deal. Okay. This includes all media outlets. This apply, order applies to the courtrooms, courthouses, including all the hallways, and offices, who wrote and this? Who wrote that? The presiding, the presiding judge. judge. Oh, this judge? The presiding judge, Okay, yes. it's unconstitutional. The state of this, California. No, this is the state of California right here. That's the same exact, right there, rule 1.150. Look at it. Read it. Here. Read it. Look. It says no cameras inside the courtroom. It does not say anything about here. What is so intrinsically important about recording in a courthouse lobby? What? I don't get it. Can somebody help me? Please explain. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. It's about the ad revenue. My bad. Five minutes later. So I'm, step I'm not stepping out, bro. You're going to have to step out. It's up, unconstitutional. Okay? You're going to have to step out. Take up, me okay? to jail. I want to go right now. Let's go. It'll be my first time. Just hang time. Yeah. I've been arrested before, but this will be my first time going to jail. As long as I understand, you're refusing to leave. I'm not refusing to leave. You're kicking me out. It's unconstitutional. So, so by kicking you out, telling you you have to leave, are you refusing now to leave? I don't answer questions. I'm not refusing. I have the law right here. Okay. We're just telling you. Are you refusing to leave? You're violating your oath I'm to the Constitution, bro. I'm not. This is a public building. Okay. I just want to take some pictures. We just told you. You cannot. That's the presiding judge's court order. Okay? And I have the... Law right here. Oh, I'm sorry, but ours is gonna have to um, supersede that right now. Okay, well, it's unconstitutional. That's yeah, what I'm you saying. You can go ahead and file that complaint or lawsuit if you like, and that will go through that. I'm not leaving, bro. Oh, you're leaving, all right, Sonny boy, but it just won't be under your free will. They're gonna help you. And when I say they, I'm talking about the sheriff's deputies. Let's roll that clip. So my point is, I want to pass leave. security actually. Can I go? You're gonna what? I want to go through there. No, you're not. Okay, then I'll stay right here. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going anywhere, man. A few minutes later. All right, sir. Yes, uh, sir. I just spoke to my supervisor. Yes, sir. You have no lawful business being okay. here. You're now asked to leave. If you refuse to leave, you trespass. Okay? Trespass from a public yeah. building? Yes. That's not how it works, man. Okay. Are you refusing to leave? Uh, can I ask you the next question? Are you? Go are, ahead. You, are you? I mean, are you going to are you going to threaten me no with arrest? Threat. That's not threatened. It, it's what we have to do. It's part of our job. Okay? No, no. Okay, okay. I'm here if to I don't leave, questions. okay. Let me ask this other question. I'm very patient with you. I'll give you opportunity. No, to I know. But you work for me. If I don't leave, will you arrest me? You're going to have to be arrested for trespassing if you refuse to leave the property. You have no law. So what are you saying, sheriff? Is he free to go? Because if he's free to go, he's free to stay. And I'm here to tell you. That boy ain't going nowhere, Sheriff. At least in his little mind, that's what he thinks is true. Okay. I'm telling you, it's I need you to form. exit the building. If you do not exit the building, my partner here is going to place you under arrest, okay. and we're going to take your property, okay. book it in evidence, and you're going to be booked across the street in the county jail. Well, I, will you release me today? I can't guarantee any of that. Yeah, in a few hours, huh? I can't guarantee any of that. I don't work for the jail. Oh, okay. So right here, okay? All right. So are you going to leave the building or not? So you're telling me to leave? Absolutely, yes. Wow, uh, look at that, guys. So if I don't go, they're going to take me to jail. 
So I can either take the riot or fight it in court. But either way, it's unlawful, just so you guys know. Okay. Okay. I was, I was hoping you would put me in handcuffs. Okay, sir. <sighs> All right, try man. To, I try to minimize the, this the best. But you're can. telling me to leave, right? Yes, sir. Okay. That's all I want to know. Okay. You know my information? I work here. Yeah, I know. You can contact my supervisor. I should have taken me to jail, man. Wow. They should have taken me to jail right now. Well, now, don't get disappointed, good people. I promised you an arrest, and an arrest you shall see. The frauditor is so stupid. He's disappointed right now. He's heartbroken. He wanted to be arrested. So, what is he going to do? He's going to go back inside. Believe it or not, roll that clip. Either way, guys, they violated my constitutional rights. They said I'm not allowed to film in the courthouse, not even the room. That's not the law, man. I don't care what they say. I have the law with me right here. Not only is it state law, it's federal law too. Either way, they violated my rights. If they take me to jail or not, it doesn't matter. I have to fight this civilly, guys. I'm gonna file a lawsuit. Moments later. Martinez, you can take me in, sir. No, I said Martinez can take me in. I'm fine. I'm willing to go to jail. You want to go to jail? Yes, sir. Lobby Martinez individuals back in the lobby. Because I have to stand up for the right thing. Hey, Martinez, I'm ready, sir. To go to jail, sir. I have to say no. I have, I have to do what's right, sir. Yeah, you're refusing to leave the building. Sir, take me to jail. Just take me to jail, brother. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Are you refusing to leave the building? Just take me to jail, brother. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right, yeah. Here, take this. Okay, yes, sir. Here, hand it to him. Take off that, too. Yes, sir. Uh, just Here. press the button. Hand It'll this. stop recording. Hold on, hand. Hold this. Well, there you have it, good people. I know it's unbelievable, but it's true. Why would you want to get arrested? Now, look, back in the day, back in the 1960s, when we didn't have civil rights in this country for people of color, I could understand Dr. Martin Luther King getting arrested because he was standing up for an entire race of people that didn't have any rights. What is this yahoo standing up for? Nothing. Standing up for nothing. You look like a moron getting arrested too. But not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by, boy. Get that job. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, yo, you're racist. Kate. Racist. Oh, Nazi, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just finish? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar, haknuikan da kra, ulu wala pupatai.